Hey, this is Tony from AirGunsARP.com. Wanted to shout out a quick special thanks to Trainer Outdoors, our sponsor on this video, explaining a little bit about first focal plane scopes and how they differ from standard or second focal plane scopes. This diagram shows the internals of a regular adjustable scope. This is a multiple power scope, you know, like a 3 to 18 or a 5 to 30 power scope. The important part here is you can see that the scope is really a collection of a bunch of different lenses in a tube with some adjustments on it and more importantly two focal points. On a standard scope, the second focal point, also known as the aperture inside of that second focal plane, that's where we have a reticle. That's where either your etch reticle or your wire reticle is actually located. Now keep in mind when you're looking through the scope, forget about your eye side of things. The light is actually what you're seeing, so the light, as it enters through the front objective, goes through the lens, hits that first focal plane, hits your actual picture assembly and where your actual zooming or your magnification occurs, and then hits the second focal plane, which is where your reticle is in the scope, and then your ocular assembly where you can actually adjust a little bit for individual eyes. The magnification happens before the second focal plane. It happens after the first, but before the second. So if your reticle is on that second focal plane, you're never going to actually get additional magnification outside of what's happening on the ocular assembly, which is really just adjusting for different eye types. So the light enters the objective's assembly, it hits your reticle at the first focal point, then any changes in magnification occur. So when you're changing your magnification, it actually is going to magnify or zoom in and out, on that reticle. In a nutshell, that's the big difference between the first and second focal plane scopes from the physics standpoint. And here's an actual visual example of what a low versus high magnification will look like if you're looking down the scope of a second focal plane rifle scope. You can see the reticle, it actually is identical here. It doesn't quite look like because I was working with my scope cam and trying to get some better settings for a different project. But, trust me, they're identical. You have the same reticle, the same view, no matter if you're zoomed in and out. Because of that, if you're doing milled out holdover and the like, your magnification is going to make a big difference because your magnification is happening after the reticle. It may be a true milled out at 10x, at 20x, it's going to be off by a rather wide margin. In fact, you're going to have to double um, your calculations. Here we have an example showing the first focal plane and how that actually works as far as reticles go. Both left and right pictures show two different magnifications, a minimum and maximum for the scope, with that first focal plane or FFP reticle. You can see that as you magnify your field of view, it's actually magnifying the reticle as well. This is great if you're using mill dots for holdover, because 4 inches is 4 inches is 4 inches. It doesn't matter what magnification you have, you just need one range card or one set of holdover values that'll hold you through the entire magnification on your scope. In this video, I'm just doing that. I'm going back and forth on the magnification ring just to show you how it is including the reticle when it magnifies your field of view. So there you have it. First focal plane versus second focal plane. The real big difference is in that first focal plane the reticle is also magnified, making it much simpler for doing your holdover calculations. Once again, I'd like to shout out a big quick thank you for Trenera Outdoors for letting them use some of their scopes in order to do this review. Uh, the scope we used was a new Athlon one, and we'll be doing a review on the Athlon Argus in the next couple weeks. This is Tony from AirGunsARP.com.